So it's so funny because the iPhone 16s have just came out, but we're already getting rumors of the iPhone 17s. In fact, we were getting pretty much confirmed, not confirmed, but like pretty good rumors about what the iPhone 17s could be even before the iPhone 16s officially came out. So now we're in the situation where we can kind of see an estimate of what the rumors and suggestions of the iPhone 17s are going to be. And I'm going to tell you, there are lots of good stuff that we're finally going to be getting inside of our iPhone 17s, which is probably why some people are waiting out from the iPhone 16s to go and wait until the iPhone 17s come out, because the difference from the 16 to the 17 is probably going to be a pretty big change, probably one of the biggest changes we're going to be seeing from one iPhone to the other, probably since maybe the iPhone 11 to the 12, or maybe the iPhone, you know, 8 to the 10, kind of, or 7 to the 10. The biggest change we're seeing here for the most part is that the iPhone 17s, all of them, could actually end up getting 120 hertz displays on all of the models. Now, this is something that is so annoying. I don't know why Apple still hasn't given us 120 hertz on these devices yet, but it looks like our iPhone 17s are actually going to be giving us that type of capability, which is going to be really cool. Now, 120 hertz is basically what the Pro models have had on their iPhone displays since 2021 with the 13 Pros, and those iPhones with those displays look so good. I am such a fan of the way those particular displays hold up. And that's the thing, I'm looking at these displays right now, and they are significantly better in almost every single way than, you know, the standard 60 hertz panels that you're getting on your other iPhones. So that right there is one really big thing to keep in mind there. Number one. Number two, the iPhone 17 is going to be getting another model as well, which is going to be pretty crazy. And this is the iPhone 17 Air. We are probably going to be getting some sort of Air model of our iPhone 17s, which is actually going to be pretty crazy because for a long time, something like this has been kind of rumored to be coming out. In fact, I made videos, I think back in 2019, that basically stated that Apple could end up making some sort of model like this. And guess what? It looks like they are actually going to be, I guess, making the iPhone 17 Air, which is going to be taking over the Plus lineup. So it's going to be a big, slimmer model. I think that's probably what it's going to end up being. I'm curious on what the battery life of that iPhone is going to be. But that, again, in and of itself, is going to be another crazy thing. Now, obviously, these iPhones are going to be faster. They're going to have more RAM, probably. They're going to be designed maybe a little bit differently. But we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what ends up happening here, what Apple ends up doing. Apple's probably also going to be making that iPhone SE. So we're going to be seeing what Apple ends up doing there, too, because there's a lot of interesting stuff and interesting changes that could be, you know, that could end up happening here. So some pretty big stuff here. I can't wait for these iPhones to come out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.